Hey Wargamers, today I want to talk about Savior Protocols. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what they are, basically Savior Protocols is a rule that allows drones in a Tau army to absorb wounds for other units, specifically infantry and battle suits. So uh, if you have a battle suit or infantry that you are taking damage on, you can instead take that damage on the drones. Um, the specific rule uh, is if a sept infantry or sept battlesuit unit within three inches of friendly sept drones unit is wounded by an enemy attack, roll a d6. On a two up, you can allocate that wound to the drones unit instead of the target. If you do, that drones unit suffers a mortal wound instead of the normal damage. So um, there's a few points in there that are really important. One is it only applies to battlesuits and infantry, so you can't use it on things like tanks. Um, and then also, it allocates the wound. So if you go and look at your basic rules, you'll notice that there's an allocation step in the process. And this is something that people seem not to always uh, grasp right away, is that the allocation step happens before uh, resolving armor saves. So uh, if we're using this rule, we are using it before any armor saves are taken. So it doesn't matter if you have a two up or a three up or a six up, whatever, you still go through the same saver protocols pathway and you don't get to use the armor save of the targeted unit to um, improve your chances of a favorable outcome. So those are the two really important parts there. Um, I did a video similar to this talking about how Sayer Protocols works in the index. The big difference between that video and this video is that now you have to roll a die to determine if you're actually able to intercept that wound with the drone. Um, and so if you are rolling a one on that Saver Protocols pathway, uh, you're out of luck. You have to take the wound on your battle suit or on your infantry. And uh, as a result of that, there's still there's a little bit of risk. It's pretty low risk. You're going to get your Saver Protocols through most of the time, but it's not guaranteed. Um, and so that's a really important change in how Saver Protocols works. So I want to go over it with you again. Um, in addition, I want to show you a few different examples of how Sayer Protocols works. It depends on the uh, types of drones that you're taking and also the nature of the damage coming in. Uh, if we're dealing just with single, single damage shots, it's pretty simple. If we're dealing with multi-damage shots, it's just about as simple. All those multi-damage shots uh, get resolved down into single damage in terms of the Sayer Protocol pathway. Um, but if we're dealing with mortal wounds, it gets a little bit more complicated. And so uh, let's walk through that process, look at how the Saver Protocols pathway works and how you resolve Saver Protocols depending on those different levels of complexity. All right, let's start with something simple. So I have a Riptide here, a couple of gun drones, and let's say that this Riptide gets shot at by a Hive Tyrant with uh, Devourers, for example. So um, what's going to happen is the Hive Tyrant is going to shoot one Devourer here. Devourer is... Uh, a six shot weapon. He's looking for threes. So uh, I got a couple sixes, a couple threes, a four, and a two. So the two is going to miss. Um, and then it's a strength six weapon. So he's going to need uh, fives to wound a riptide. And he gets three wounds. So now there are three wounds on the riptide. And this is where Saver Protocols jumps in. Uh, instead of allocating them to the uh, Riptide, you're going to say, I want to allocate them to the drones. Um, and because of that, you're going to roll these three dice. Rather, you're going to roll your own dice here. Uh, and you're looking for twos in order to shuck those three wounds onto this unit of drones. All right, so we got all three here. Now, that's good. That means that we are able to pass through... These wounds off to the drone unit, but there's only two drones here. So one of them is still going to make it through, but these two automatically go uh, to this unit uh, because gun drones don't have any type of feel no pain save. It kills each of them instantly with a mortal wound. And now there's just one wound left um, going to the Riptide. So there's no AP on this weapon, so he just gets his two up save and he gets it with a three. So the Riptide's fine. That's the basic uh, use of Savior Protocols. All right, let's say that that Riptide gets charged by the Hive Tyrant then, uh, and the Hive Tyrant has Monstrous Scything Talons. Monstrous Scything Talons are minus three AP, three damage. Uh, they can do a lot of, a lot of hurt to a Riptide, um, and the Hive Tyrant has four attacks. So, so let's say the Hive Tyrant does that. We're looking for twos to hit. All right, he makes three of them. So then he's strength six, and he needs five to wound. He gets one. 
All right, so now I have this one damage that has wounded, or this one hit that's wounded the Riptide. Uh, at this point, again, I can make my Seaver Protocols roll to allocate to this nearby drone unit. I get a four, so it successfully moves on to the drone unit. And even though it's three damage, it just gets transferred down to a single mortal wound. So we only have to kill one of these drones, All right? And in that scenario, we're done. Uh, the Hive Tyrant has resolved his attacks and um, the damage that would be done to the Riptide has now been allocated to the drones and the drones uh, have taken their casualty as a result of that. All right, let's make it a little bit more complicated by introducing shield drones. Shield drones have a five up feel no pain style rule where anytime they take damage, they roll a die. And if it's a five or greater, uh, that wound is ignored. So here again, let's say the Riptide has been attacked by a Hive Tyrant in close combat. Hive Tyrant has four attacks. We're looking for twos, he makes them all. All right, and then now the Hive Tyrant is looking for fives again and he gets two, all right? So these two attacks normally would be minus three AP against the Riptide's um, armor save, um, or he would be taking his uh, invulnerable save depending on which one is greater at the time. Uh, and so these two attacks could just go on the Riptide, but we're gonna try to uh, shuck them over to the uh, shield drones using saber protocols. Okay, so here we're looking for twos to shuck them over to the drones. We make them. So the damage that would be going to the Riptide is now going to the drones. Um, and normally this would kill uh, both of these drones, but because we have a five up feel no pain, we can roll these um, and look for fives. Neither of these are a five or a six. So that means that indeed, both of these drones are going to have to eat it. Um, and so they're, they're removed as casualties. Okay, and then the final level of complexity is introducing mortal wounds being dealt to the Riptide. So in this scenario, the Hive Tyrant is casting Smite on the Riptide. Uh, let's see if it goes off. Hey, look, it goes off. Um, and it is going to do how many wounds? It's gonna do two mortal wounds to the Riptide. In this case, because mortal wounds are done one at a time and not as a single shot that does multiple damage, uh, we allocate each mortal wound separately through the Savior Protocol's pathway. So there's two wounds, so we have to um, allocate the first one. It goes over to a drone, let's see if he survives. He gets a five up, feel no pain from this. He does not, so he's removed. And now the other mortal wound gets allocated. It is allocated. Does he survive? He does not, he is removed. So unlike normal um, shooting or whatever normal damage done to a battle suit or, or other target that's gonna be saved by saber protocols, mortal wounds have to be done one at a time. They're processed one, uh, one by one as opposed to condensing all mortal wounds down to a single die roll. So if we had three mortal wounds, we'd have to make three, three uh, saber protocols roll. If we had 10 mortal wounds, we'd have to make 10 saber protocol rolls. Um, we can't condense it down to a single die like we can with traditional weapons. So that's how Seer Protocols work. Hey everyone, this video was made possible by my supporters over on Patreon. If you also enjoyed this video, consider joining our community over there. Special thanks to Max Harrison, No Excuses Panda, Nick Steele, Tao Oswell, Paul Luters, Jared Egler, Brian Mann, Jake Johnson, Eric Jackson, Yuhai Penguin, Peter Benjamin Parker, RP, Christian Gustafson, Andy M. Young, Julian Peck, Giovanni DiMaggio, and Christopher Sorrell.